eloquent location, and an incredible wedding to the greatest source of grace we have on earth. What divine bridegroom has his beloved suffer on a cross before their wedding, asks that he or she give up everything and then take on his likeness, be bound, and then led to a pillar at the end of a perpetual adoration pier at an incredible fishing wharf with many confessionals on Calvary, where all will stand before the divine tribunal as the faithful are unified with Christ in the greatest source of grace we have on earth. Precious fish in need of rescue, shields, nails, one magnificent bridal gown, a multitude of children, pulleys, ropes, nets, opposing forces, adoration, reparation, devotion, a monstrous sword full of grace, and a holy infant commander-in-chief leading the most powerful army in the universe. Anyone who thinks that the holy sacrifice of the Mass is boring hasn't seen anything. Not yet. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. What bridegroom allows his bride to get beat up by his enemy prior to their wedding, prefers that she have nothing and be homeless, and then gives her his house and the keys to his kingdom at their nuptials in church, attended by a multitude of children, on a fishing pier on Calvary, at the very place where every soul will face final judgment. What bridegroom chooses a live battlefield for his wedding, and has a place reserved at his head table for all, including his treasonous leaders, whose parish passes around no collection plate, but asks for the only two things that you own, the King of all kings and Lord over all. Profoundly Catholic Commitment What divine bridegroom asks you to give up everything for everyone else, outfits you in his garments, then reveals things that wound your heart without allowing them? to be seen, who then weds, pays, feeds, sanctifies, clarifies, ransoms, and not only promises to love and honor you every moment of forever, but gives you a share in everything he has and is, the King of all kings and Lord over all. Part 13 in the Treasonous Priest Search and Rescue Series. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, and he still means it, prior to Holy Mass. Immediately, Jesus draws you very close, after allowing the devil to treat you to an absolute mental beating through the late morning, following another night and early morning of reparation. You offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass to God through the merits of the holy face of Jesus, and then present our Lord with his two wedding presents, all the love in your heart and your free will. Jesus then has you see things with your heart that cannot be seen with your regular sight or spiritual vision, and you are very deeply moved, even wounded. This seeing from the heart is very beautiful, because this is the way that Jesus sees us. Holy Mass, Quint Location you once again find yourself in the church on Calvary, in an orchard at a fishing wharf. In particular, you see that the inside of the church looks like a big fishing pier. At the end of the pier, you see the foot of the cross, the mystical hole in the ground leading to the ocean of God's mercy, and the wedding kneeler, where all will wed their souls to Christ and be unified with God. Suddenly, you see one more place a fifth place. Before you is the divine tribunal, where every soul will kneel before God for their final judgment. What a sight! Don't ever underestimate the value of the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Remember, with God, nothing is impossible. The treasonous fish. Through the readings, you see that there are many fish swimming near the surface underneath and around the great pier before you. Jesus, who are these fish? Our Lord tells you that they are his treasonous priests in need of rescue, shepherds who remain in plain sight of the people at their parishes and at other places 
while defiling his sacred body in precious blood and also keeping him from his people, meaning not having Eucharistic adoration. Where's the wedding gown? You find it curious that today you have not been outfitted in the majestic bridal gown representing Christ's church, which he is restoring through the work of reparation to his holy face. Instead, in imitation of your divine bridegroom during his sacred passion, you find yourself stripped of titles, money, even a parish to call home, stripped of the wedding dress, and your hands are tightly bound with rope. It is like this that you are accompanied up the pier by a multitude of little children during Holy Communion later. These children had lost their mortal lives to abortion and have come to help fight the battles for precious, priceless, and immortal souls. You ask the children where they are going to place the souls of treasonous priests as you make a Holy Communion of adoration, reparation, and devotion in place of your brothers. During past rescue operations, the children place the souls of these men inside the folds of the bridal gown, representing the Catholic Church, for safekeeping. Another very different fishing wharf. At the fishing wharf all around the church, the children help catch precious, priceless, and immortal souls in various ways. Some stand by the ropes and pulleys, awaiting the order to pull up the next catch. Others fish using nets with long handles. Still others watch the fishing poles that remain in the water. Suddenly, you see that superimposed over this fishing wharf is another one, and it is very different. More spiritual opposites. You are shown the devil's fishing pier, and suspended at the end of ropes awaiting treasonous fish are nooses. So many nooses are waiting there. The devil wants, and fully intends, to hang his priest prey by the neck in perpetual regret forever, and he has a team of demons there to help him do it. Lucifer absolutely hates priests because he knows how important they are in the divine economy of salvation. Every Catholic must pray and sacrifice for priests daily. But guess what you are also shown today? located in various places around the Lord's fishing wharf. Confessionals. The confession of evil works is the first beginning of good works. St. Augustine. The consecration. Jesus gives everyone everything. Holy Communion. After receiving Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, while walking down the pier to return to your place in church, you see that you are once again outfitted in the majestic bridal gown representing Christ's church. You immediately tell the children around you to place the souls of treasonous priests into the folds of the dress for safekeeping. Quickly, you tell them. More. So what bridegroom allows his bride to get beat up by his enemy prior to their wedding, prefers that she be penniless and homeless and then outfits her in the vast treasury of his church and gives her the keys to his kingdom at their nuptials in church, attended by a multitude of children on a fishing pier on Calvary, at the very place where every soul will face final judgment. What bridegroom chooses to have his wedding on the front lines of a battlefield and has a place reserved at his head table for all, including his treasonous leaders? whose parish passes around no collection plate as the high priest gives everything and asks in return for the only two things that you own, the love of your heart and the submission of your free will, the King of all kings and Lord over all. Once again, you forgot the monstrous sword at the altar because you have been so deeply affected by all that has been seen and unseen. One of the little children is very happy to bring it to you and just knew that you would forget it. But Jesus takes the sword from the child and then offers it to you as nets are raised at multiple strategic locations, including the ones before you, and also at the two devotions to the Holy Face in your home, one on each level, 
and at the only perpetual adoration chapel in the entire area, which is located at another parish. Together and in one grand swipe, the two of you cut all the ropes drawn from the ocean of God's mercy by his almighty hand and by the children who make great use of the many pulleys on the ceiling. Countless fish spill out of the nets, members of the sacred priesthood of Jesus Christ, rescued from spiritual bondage. Jesus delights you by showing that some of the nets contain many shields of two different types for the restored priests to help them now fight in God's army for precious, priceless, and immortal souls. Then, in a second grand swipe, Jesus and you cut all the nooses at the devil's fishing wharf that await treasonous priests at the place of final judgment for every soul there on Calvary at the foot of the place of our redemption. That is the almighty power of God available to everyone in the Blessed Sacrament, the greatest source of grace we have on earth. From the writings of St. Catherine Drexel, Christ wishes the Christian community to be a body that is perfect because we work together towards a single end. And the higher the motive which actuates this collaboration, the higher, no doubt, will be the union. Now the end in question is supremely exalted, the continuous sanctification of the body for the glory of God and the Lamb that was slain, Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament. Sacrificial love. Sacrificial love is the most powerful force in the universe. Sacrificial love is so strong that the bonds formed by it cannot ever be broken and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. Allow sacrificial love to bind your soul to God forever and transform you into a tremendous channel of superabundant amounts of grace for the sanctification and salvation of all souls through all time. Remain. Jesus draws you very close and has you adore him and make reparation for the desecration of his sacred body and precious blood during the sacred 15 minutes of divine union with our Lord. And so you remain on your knees to the conclusion of Holy Mass, as most everyone walks out during Eucharistic adoration, while unified with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, the greatest source of grace we have on earth. You are one of the even fewer people who remain silent in Jesus' real presence. Blessed Mother once again steps off Calvary, holding the sacred body of her infant son, and places him in your arms. When big things need to happen, Jesus becomes very little, and he asks that we do the same. Oh, let us remain and adore him, Christ the Lord. Trust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians and you will see what miracles are. St. John Bosco Catholic Treason Defiling of the Blessed Sacrament and or keeping him from his people If human currency could be obtained by having perpetual adoration chapels, they would be everywhere. Instead, heavenly currency that saves souls for all eternity remains in the hands of Jesus, waiting to be distributed but mostly the greatest source of grace we have on earth remains alone behind locked doors. For where your treasure is, there your heart be also. Luke chapter 12, verse 34. Thirsting for more, to access a fishing boatload full of profoundly Catholic material, including award-winning books, images, articles, audio and video, all immeasurably and eternally valuable and free, just like God's love. Visit www.josephcarlpublishing.com To learn more about the work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, given to us personally by our Savior, who called it the most beautiful work under the sun, also visit www.josephcarlpublishing.com Dot com. How well do you know this powerful means of offering reparation to God and petitioning for the conversion of sinners while growing in personal sanctity by leaps 
and bounds. Establish the crucial work of reparation to the miraculous holy face of Jesus in your home and in your home parish. Start with one picture of the suffering and disfigured holy face of Jesus and meditate on his sacred passion every day. He who desires to go on advancing from virtue to virtue, from grace to grace, should meditate continually on the passion of Jesus. There is no practice more profitable for the entire sanctification of the soul than the frequent meditation of the sufferings of Jesus Christ. Saint Bonaventure